गुड मॉर्निंग जेंटलमैन वंडरफुल टाइम बहुत अच्छा मौसम है बट आज मैं आपके साथ एक फॉरगॉटन टॉपिक के बारे में बात करूंगा लॉट ऑफ पीपल आस्ट मी कैप्शन व्हाट्स हैपनिंग आई से यू टॉकिंग अबाउट द मिडल ईस्ट चाइना ताइवान बट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी हैव हर्ड व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन यूक्रेन वेरी ट्रू जेंटलमैन द बैटल इन यूक्रेन इज नाउ ऑलमोस्ट टू ईयर्स ओल्ड और सबसे पहले लेसन विच मिस अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट इन्फेंट्री कैनॉट बी इग्नोर्ड यानी वट एवर फील्ड मार्शल मॉनगोमरी हेड सेड इज वेरी ट्रू एंड वॉट इज वॉट ही सेड ही हेड सेड दैट द इन्फेंट्री सोल्जर इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ अ बैटल बिकॉज ही होल्ड गोइंग टू होल्ड द ग्राउंड इन अदर वर्ड्स यू कैनॉट मेन अ बैटल विदाउट द इन्फेंट्री सोल्जर You may have any amount of sophisticated weapons, artificial intelligence, rockets, missiles, but you need the soldier, the infantry man, to go and hold the ground. And this is where the Russian army failed. I think the infantry was not that motivated, and they were not really up to the mark. And that result is, as we all seen, the Russian army has not been able to defeat the Ukrainian army. Now the Russians got an excuse. Certainly, is that there a lot of weapons being supplied by NATO, a lot of weapons being supplied by America? Well, that was expected. America and NATO are not friends of Russia. They don't want Russia to win, and they were going to stop the Russian victory. Russia probably would have won with superior weaponry in case the West had not intervened. But their intervention has given muscle. but their inven- intervention has given muscle to the ukrainian army and they have put in a good fight but that's all one can say a good fight because they haven't been able to win either they are neither here nor there so gentlemen we are now coming to a solution where we must decide what is going to happen in ukraine military historians are studying it but the fact remains now after two years of fighting the americans are now realizing that they have bitten off more than they can chew uska kaaran ye hai ki middle east mein israel ne jang chalu kar diya hai thanks to hamas hamas ne pehle attack kiya aur israel retaliated aur america jo hai has written underwritten the security of israel so that is the crux of the issue so america is now in two minds you know i mean they are facing two fronts they been propping up the war in ukraine and they have been forced or rather they have no choice but to support israel but america is a little lucky because there's so many countries in the arab world which are very very beholden to america and they will not forsake america and that's a then the different story altogether now but ukraine me kya ho raha hai now ukraine me what is happening is कि जो नेटो और यूरोपियन कंट्रीज हैं वो अब वेपन सप्लाई नहीं करने वाले आ गए एमोनेशन भी क्योंकि उन्होंने दो साल तक एमोनेशन वेपन सप्लाई किया यूक्रेन को और नेट रिजल्ट क्या है जीरो यूक्रेन वहीं का वहीं है ऑन द कंट्रारी यूक्रेन डिस्ट्रॉय हो गया टोटली डिस्ट्रॉयड जो वंस ग्रेनरी ऑफ यूरोप होती थी दैट इज फिनिश इट डज एक्सिस्ट नाउ so gentlemen we are now coming to a very peculiar situation where we must realize that the russians are not winning but neither are the ukrainians so aage kya hone wala hai i can tell you what's going to happen now as i told you aur maine ek pehle bhi video banaya tha jo european powers hai they become war weary aur zyada der lad nahi sakte the they could not afford for long they have done for two years that's more than enough ab aage nahi lad payenge or already they are not going to give any weapons more to ukraine so once the supply of weapons stops the russians are going to win but ye ek angrezi ki kahawat hai pyrrhic victory yani it's a victory which is pyrrhic i mean uh, it's not a beneficial victory to russia russia itself is also getting destroyed they may win in ukraine thanks to the default of the weapons not being supplied by the EU and even America is going to be in problem 
but the fact remains that what are they going to gain because their economy has suffered and they have been taken out of the global financial system and that's a big blow to Russia. Gentlemen, uh, America at the moment is at its weakest point as far as we have, the world is concerned and the net result what we are observing is that Biden has now decided to have a meeting with President Yi. China itself is in a grave predicament. Their Belt and Road scheme has tanked. So many countries are leaving them. Philippines have left. I think Italy is also left. And they have pumped 50 or 60 billion dollars into Pakistan and they got zero out of it. Other than the fact that quite a few Chinese engineers have been killed by the Baluch Liberation Army and others. So gentlemen, Ukraine is a melting pot. But it is now very clear that the end of Ukraine war is in sight. This is my personal opinion. And it's not going to last very long. It was being given oxygen by the Americans and NATO, but that's all we're going to finish up now. There won't be any further weapons being supplied and very shortly that supply will taper off. And America has got its hands full in Israel. I don't think the American priority now is Ukraine. And probably Biden would have realized that he was thinking of a victory in Ukraine and an election in 2024 and worked out that way. He's in even trouble. He hasn't been able to win in Ukraine and now he's got Israel on his hands. So gentlemen, uh, Biden and America are now at their wit's end. That's the fact. And I think finally we can see the daylight at the end of the tunnel in the sense that Ukraine is now going to give up. I can be very sure that given another three months time if the battle continues, that will be the end of the war in Ukraine. I hope so. And it will show the folly of the Americans who went into Ukraine hammer and tongs and ultimately have achieved nothing. Gentlemen, I hope you liked my video. Share it with your friends. Come back for more. And in the meanwhile, I will close now and say goodbye to you all. Take care and God bless.